Hank, we had this big conversation about how you weren't going to give me anything for my birthday because I didn't give you anything for your birthday and then what should show up at our office but Nerd Fighters, the actual original video game. I'm a very happy person right now. Thank you. I'd like to announce my retirement from writing and the fact that I'm going to become a full- Oh, I may not be ready to be a full-time Arrow Fighters player because as soon as I announce my retirement, I lost. So hey, good news and bad news. The bad news is that I'm now hundreds of miles away from the amazing birthday present you got me. Ah, ah, ah. The good news is that I'm back in Pittsburgh on the set of the Tiffios movie. So I always thought that when they made movies, by the way, this is Ben Richardson, the cinematographer of the movie. I always thought when they made movies and there's like seven different angles in a shot, um, that it was seven different cameras, you know? But it turns out that it's just one very expensive camera seven different times. Exactly. This was one of the great delights of my life, was trying to explain this principle to my mum. The tricky thing is, if we had another camera right now, for the shots that we just got, the cameras would be right there in front of the car. Yeah, of course. No, I realize that now, Ben. <laughs> There's Deb. She does the action. One of the weird rules of making the movies, we're actually not allowed to do anything until Deb hits the slate. Like, I can't eat until... Hey, Margaret. And if I want to go to the bathroom... Margaret. By the way, I was just like, why do all these cars have Indiana license plates? And then I remembered because of the movie. So Hank, I always thought that making movies was super glamorous, but it turns out that it's mostly just a construction site. However, there is one very glamorous facet to the movie making process. I am referring, of course, to the porta potties. I mean, Hank, I've lived in an apartment smaller than this porta potty. It has both a toilet and a urinal. It also smells great in here, by the way. It smells like angels and stardust. I am serious. This is a fancy porta potty. Also, there's free food, including Atomic fireballs. Did you see that, Josh? I did. Should we have Nat? Cut. Should we have Nat maybe eat this right before he kisses Monica for the first time? <laughs> I'm here with uh, Isaac and Alex. Hello. Isaac and hey. Alex. <laughs> and they were just saying that I should. Uh, 19 Charlie. Take I should one. just stand in for Ansel. I am Gus. I mean, he looks older than you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Olsen twins. But of course, most of my time on set is still spent watching and listening, although now with Nat Wolf making trouble in the background. No, oh, Nat. I love you too. So like one of my favorite things about the movie so far is that they cast real teen cancer survivors for the support group. They're waving to you right now, in fact. And I want to thank all of them for being part of the movie and also for sharing their experiences with us. It's just been awesome to hang out with them. Mind if I send this to TMZ? Hello? Can I tell you what's funniest about that? I turn the camera away when you answer the phone because you're such a good actress that I thought you were really on the phone. <laughs> That's just pure talent. I'm here with Ansel Elgort who's playing Gus in the Fall of Our Stars movie and has a blue tongue. Um, we're gonna do like a quick question Tuesday and then people can submit questions and maybe we'll do another question Tuesday in the future with real questions. But the question I get the most often is have you read the book? Yeah, I've read it. <laughs> Did you, what'd you think? It was all right. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's, it was, I, I it was really, long in places. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. <laughs> um, and then, uh, I think we're about to get hit by a car. Nightmare scenario. What's your last memory? Ansel Elgort's beautiful hand on my shoulder. Did you read the book? Yes. People ask me that all the time though, like they think you haven't read the book. I've read the book, I've read the book multiple times. It's definitely one of my favorite books, meaning that it's kind of my second favorite. No, not my second Behind. favorite, it's in my, it's in my top two favorite books ever. Behind? I have to say that I really love 1984. We gotta go apparently because somebody's about to make out. It's not me. But I'll see you on Friday. Ansel, can you say I'll see you on Friday? See you on Friday, Hank. Hasta luego, amigo. 